I originally started getting tattoos a long time ago. Back when I started getting them, there was, there was literally one shop in Las Vegas. So it was still an outlaw lifestyle and I still consider myself somewhat of an outlaw. This is actually the first piece that I got ever. I started getting tattoos probably late 80s. I was about 20 years old. My tattoos generally express who I am, you know? I'm into punk rock. I'm into vampires. I'm into naked chicks. I'm into tiki's. I'm from Las Vegas. Each one kind of represents to me a time and reminds me of that. Actually, this was the first one that I actually designed myself. I actually drew that out and um, handed it over to a friend of mine. And, you know, I go, dude, give me your version of, of what I drew up. So this is what he came up with. And I love Las Vegas, you know? It, and growing up here, boy, it was like Arcadia. So, you know, when Dirk first started tattooing, this is actually the fifth tattoo he ever did in his life. He did three on himself, one on his ex-wife's foot, and then I was actually the first person outside the house to get a piece by him. All I wanted was four solid black bars. Here's why you do not get tattooed in people's trailers. I fell asleep while I was getting it done and woke up a couple hours later. Two days later, this thing turned into a piece of hamburger. It just was stabbing. It was so disgusting. I don't know if it was me that got something on it or maybe this dude probably didn't know what he was doing because it was done inside of a trailer in North Las Vegas. What do I like about Vlad? I, I, what's not to like about him? I mean, dude, he was a maniac. He used to impale people, literally impale people, and there'd be 50 of them outside of his house. Dude, who's gonna walk up to that house and start trouble? Good old Vlad.